Hi guys, it's Lisa. Welcome to my channel. And instead of blogging to you from a boring office, I am coming to you today from In The Vineyard. And it's raining today, which is great. Awesome, awesome, cloudy, foggy, cold. I love it. It's like so, it was such a hot summer out here in Northern California. It was like, you just wanna die. It was so hot. So this feels beautiful and wonderful. I spend a lot of time working on my computer. I have a laptop, I've got a desktop, I've got my iPhones. Yes, I said iPhones, I have more than one. One went off right then. I get so much like spiritual and psychological insight when I'm outside, when I'm in nature or with animals or whatever. But when I'm out in nature, I am so in touch with life. It's so like, it recalibrates my myself to my soul or to life, I am going to be pruning grapevines at a vineyard, at a winery in Northern California. And I'm gonna take you along with me. And I'm just gonna share with you some of the insights that come to me, um, things that I think about. So you'll be joining me in the vineyard as we go from the stage it's at right now, pre-pruning, through pruning, to bud break, to putting the, the vines in the wires, and then blossoms and then little baby grapes and then when they get bigger and bigger and then summer pruning and then finally the harvest in probably September or October depending on what the summer is like. So whether you're interested in just watching the whole cycle of grapes and how then it becomes wine or you're interested in just gardening or you're interested in spiritual and psychological insights or you just like hearing me talk and talk and talk or all the above. This will be a great series because this is what we plan to do. We're gonna be out here, it's gonna be awesome. And sometimes I'll have my dogs out here and sometimes there'll be other people joining us. But for the most part, it'll just be me and you. That's how I like it. Just me and you. I keep getting things on my phone. I'm like, If I were sitting at home right now or on a train commuting to work or at work, and I stumbled upon this series, I'd be like, oh my God, it's so, it's so exciting. I get to see how the vines grow. Well, yeah, you're gonna. In the last few years, I've lost some very important people in my life and it really wiped me out and I didn't really care about life anymore. And I was just like, and um, being out in the vineyard um, really healed me and really reconnected me to what was important to me and sort of reminded me that there's a cycle of life, that everything keeps going, that life goes on. So the vineyard right now is basically, it looks pretty dead, right? There's no green, there's no grapes, there's none of that. Harvest was last September. It's January. It's very rainy and cold and it's just sticks, right? Well, pretty soon we'll be pruning these babies and uh, then there'll be bud break, which is really exciting. It's when there's a little breakthrough of growth through the wood, it's so great. And then more of them grow, and then we have to put them in these wires because otherwise they just flop on the ground. There's a lot of pruning that goes on throughout like summer and spring, because you're always, well, it's not really pruning, it's more like cutting away the suckers, that different parts of it that grow here that you wanna keep off, which there's so many life lessons that come from nature. I always say everything we need to know in life, I think is in life. It's in nature, it's in animals, it's in all the what's around us all the time. And if we pay attention, we can learn so much. We see what we need to learn. You know when you get a new car and it's like a blue Chevy and then everywhere you go you see blue Chevys, blue Chevys, blue Chevys. That's kind of like with a lesson. I believe once we have to learn a lesson, it's, if you notice something's repetitive and you keep seeing it, whether it's something that irritates the heck out of you or something that you love or whatever it is, you just start to see it and notice it everywhere. I don't think there's any accident for that. Okay, anyways. So if we look at the vineyard right now, there's not a lot going on. We haven't started pruning yet. But this is a time to get clear on what is in the vineyard. Are there broken water lines? Are all the vines tied up properly? Do any of them need to be retied? Are there any of them that died in the past growing season? Um, we can see what vines, it seems like they're doing well and they're holding up well, and what vines maybe look like they were suffering a little bit. Like maybe there was a broken water line earlier in the season and, and it wasn't caught in time. So there's a lot that can be learned in every single season in a garden, just like every single season in life. There's always something that could be learned. So when things are calm and quiet, 
and it's after all the excitement of like a harvest, it's a good time to get clear on things. And that's what you can do. You can look around the vineyard. Vineyard equals your life. When you hear vineyard, think my life. Vineyard, my life. Vineyard, my life. Well, also it might, might be when I say vine. Uh, I'll keep you posted. Right now it's vineyard. And it's so windy right now and it's starting to rain. I'm so dedicated to get this video out to you. I'm like, I don't care. I got a video to make. And the vineyard's got to go up. I really love it. And I love the rain anyways. I'm a weirdo. I love the rain. Put raindrops in the, the comments below if you love rain. You guys, we're, we're from the same planet. Not Earth. Okay, we're from somewhere else. But we love rain. So <laughs> the vines love the rain. I mean, this is great for them too. It gets the ground nice and soaked beautiful. So this is the perfect time to think about in your life what just to get clear. Maybe you don't have to act and do stuff or whatever, but just get really clear on what is going on because you can see everything very clearly. Everything is crystal clear. Like when I look around the vineyard, there are no leaves, there are no grapes, there are no blossoms. There's nothing confusing. You can see very clearly each vine, its outline, what it's what it needs, what's missing, everything. Ooh getting cold out here it's getting cold and wet and rainy this is the way I like it though so just think about what's going on in your life and what what could you get clear on take notes because we're gonna be out here for a long time <laughs> okay guys so that's it for today's session of in the vineyard remember raindrops if you love rain and I will see you guys next time in the vineyard mm -hmm.